Hey guys, Zoe here. Alright, so today is going to be a very exciting video. My first video in 2014, so Happy New Year everybody. So today's video is going to be a review on the first Naked palette. Um, this is about like three or four years late. Um, because everybody these days is focused on the Naked 3, and I have just got my hands on the Naked, the first Naked palette. So, if you don't know, which you probably should, you've probably been living under a rock for the past five years, or however long this has been out, but this is what it looks like. It's in this, like, brown felt packaging. Um... It is $52. You can get it at Ulta, Sephora, and on the Urban Decay website. Um, but this is what it looks like inside. It's got a mirror. Oops, sorry if I blinded you. A mirror, a small mirror, and it says naked right here. Then it has all 12 of the eyeshadows, and they have names. And it also comes with this eyeshadow brush it's like a duo fiber brush as you can see I've used it it's kind of dirty and it's really nice quality it's not one of those like crappy brushes that comes with like drugstore palettes or anything like that like this is actually something that you could get use out of and then it comes with a mini Urban Decay primer potion which is absolutely amazing and yeah so let's get into the review. So, like I said, this is $52, which might seem like a lot, but yeah. So I'm going to go through all of the colors and then tell you what I think about it more. Okay, so the first color is Virgin. And Virgin is a cool pale beige with shimmer. The next color is Sin. It's a champagne with shimmer. Then the next color is Naked and it's a nude matte brown color. The next color is Sidecar. It is a beige shimmer with um, little micro glitters in it. And then the next color is Buck. It's a um, kind of warm brown color. This next color is Half Baked. It's a golden bronze color with shimmer. The next color is Smog. And Smog is a deep coppery bronze with shimmer. Dark Horse is a deep mocha brown with shimmer. Toasted is an antique penny coppery color. And then Hustle is a plummy brown color. Creep is um, like a gray, a dark gray onyx color with a shimmer. And then Gunmetal is a bluey metallic gray with silver micro glitters and shimmer. So those are all the colors and those descriptions I got from... Urban Decay, um, because I am really bad at describing colors, but those are all the colors, and so now I'm going to tell you more about, like, what I think of the palette and everything, so I really like the packaging, the only bad thing about it is it could probably get, like, dirty, like, it could get stuff on it, but I haven't really had a problem with that since I got it, it's really nice, um, and I like that you can, like, fold the it back so you can just like hold it while you're doing your eyeshadow and you can just like see all the eyeshadows so I'm gonna tell you some of my favorites in the palette so I really like virgin because it's a really nice brow bone color and then I really like um, half baked it's just really super shimmery and pretty and it's a gorgeous lid color and those are um, I love all of the colors, but those are, like, my two favorites in the palette. Um, and I really like this. I would prefer this over the Naked 2 because these, these are warmer colors and there's a lot of variety. There's probably, like, a thousand ways you can, um, 
wear this palette. Like, there's so many c combinations of how you can wear it. Um, and, yeah, I think they're really velvety smooth. They go on really nicely. And um, the Urban Decay Primer Potion that it comes with is amazing. This is, like, a must-have for me now. Like, it's so nice. The eyeshadow does not move at all when you use this, and you only need a little bit. And that's really good. And I think the colors are so pigmented. I'll swatch a little bit of them. Those are just some of the colors. But they're just so pigmented. And then when I put them on my hand, they transfer like so nicely. And they're so full color. And I love them so much. Um, there's only two, um, completely matte shades in the palette, which are Naked and Buck. That's Naked and that's Buck. Everything else is I either has, like, a satiny finish or, like, glitter in it. But it's not, like, obnoxious glitter. And, um, so, yeah. Um, and then the brush. Yeah, I already said that was really nice. This is really nice. And this is really nice. So I think this is a great palette, especially for beginners. Um, actually, any naked palette would be great because, like, it's something, it is um, $52, which is pretty expensive, but it is something that you're going to use day after day. It's not like a palette with, like, greens and yellows in it that, like, you'll, you're, you'll barely ever use. This, you'll get a lot of use out of it. You'll get your money's worth, and it lasts a really long time. I know that because my cousin has the Naked 2 palette, and she's used it every single day. Like, she has, like, no other eyeshadow. She uses that. She got that a year ago, and she still hasn't hit pan on any of them. Like, some of them have dents in them, but there's no pan. And they last, like, a long time. They're great, and I really recommend any of the Naked palettes, especially the Naked 1. And it comes with some good things to try out with, too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you want me to do some tutorials with this, then I would be happy to. And so, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.